Hey, this is Charles Onyet with IGN Xbox, and I'm here to talk about NHL 2K6. Uh, anyone familiar with this franchise will find pretty much the same product here that you found on the Xbox and on the PS2 that was released actually just a couple of months ago. This isn't a new game, although it does have a couple of new features. Uh, most notable are the graphics and the new crease control mode. Now first, the graphics, obviously with the release of a new console, everyone is concerned about graphics, how does it look, that sort of thing. NHL 2K6 doesn't look that great, especially compared with uh, the other titles that we've seen on the console. It's not really a, a standout title. Uh, in fact, if you're viewing uh, the game on a 4-3 uh, aspect ratio television, uh, not in HD, you may even mistake it for an Xbox game. However, if you are watching it on an HD TV, you are going to notice a difference. It is actually better, just not as good as it could have been. Um, Basically, uh, the player models are, are much more beefed up in terms of their detail, their gloves, a lot of helmet reflections. You'll see ice spray around when people stop. You'll see big ruts in the ice um, when people are skating around. Um, and uh, the players' faces are, are much more detailed. However, there's this weird shadow thing going on that I can only really describe as reverse shadows, where it's a next generation uh, sort of filtering effect that you can see in NBA 2K6 as well. Uh, where it, it appears as though gauze has almost been wrapped around parts of the player's bodies and makes it look like they're lit in the improper areas. Okay, and now uh, we should talk about the crease control mode. Now, with NHL 2K6, you know, it, hockey is one of the least popular uh, sports franchises when you compare it to, uh, like, football or basketball or that sort of thing. Yet, this title is one of the only ones that actually got a new gameplay feature. Um, and uh, it works pretty well in this game, although it probably should have been held off until 2K7 comes out next year, just because it's, it's a little rough around the edges. Basically what it is is when uh, the offense is coming in on you with the puck, you're able to click down the right stick and enable uh, sort of a first-person goalie mode that uh, extends out this V-shaped targeting reticle into the ice in front of you. And you're looking from behind the goalie so you see the forward coming in with the puck, you see the shot being taken at you. Now if you're in the correct position facing the person with the puck, your cursor is going to be green and when they shoot the puck, uh, a little red target will pop up in, in your net area showing where the puck is going to cross the goal line and your, your job at that point is to move a green cursor towards where the target is, hit A, and then you'll make a save on the puck. Now obviously this is easier if your goalie is in position. Um, and in that sense, it works pretty well. It, it, the problems crop up when you're trying to transition in and out of this mode because you can only use your goalie in this mode and not any of your defensemen or your forwards, you'll have to hit a button before you can switch control over to who's going to be picking up the rebounds. And it's, it's, you'll get disoriented through this process just because you're not going to know exactly where all of your teammates are and you won't be able to make a quick pass out of the zone and break out to go effectively attack the other end. Now, you can still play the game without using this crease control feature and just give control over to the computer as you normally would have in any of the previous titles. Uh, however, uh, it's not as effective. It actually is to your advantage to use the crease control mode. Um, so basically, this is something that can really be improved upon. It's a great idea. It, it's actually fun to play with. It just it has a couple rough spots. And uh, it's something that I would really like to see implemented in the next title to a more fuller extent. So aside from the obvious changes, the graphics um, and uh, the crease control mode, there really isn't anything different about this game. If you've played it on Xbox and PS2, you've basically played this game. It's it's the same menu system, it's, well, there's slightly updated rosters, uh, you'll notice a few uh, updated rule changes just, just to keep with the way the NHL has been changing, but, uh, but generally it's the same thing, it's got all the same game modes, uh, you know, and everything works as it did before. It feels very much like an NHL 2K title, uh, and that's a good thing. This is still a good game, it's just... It's not really the, the step it should have been. I mean, people need to keep in mind when they're looking at this game, it's, this is the same title that was already released. They just threw a new coat of paint on it and added in a new feature. 
Um, but if you're looking for a new NHL 2K gameplay experience, you're going to have to wait until next year.